Do, do, do. Are we live? Oh. Hi, everybody. I think we're live on Facebook. Facebook Live. And <laughs> 15 years ago, did you ever think, whoops, my phone's doing something weird. Did you ever think 15 years ago that you would be part of something called Facebook and Instagram and <laughs> Google and all of these other things. It's so funny when I think about the names of things, like how did they come up with this? And, and now we're all using these words, like it's just second nature, right? Like Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn. So, so if you're there, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Say, yes, Liz Dawn, we can hear you. Woohoo! It's Freak Out Friday. Yay for Freak Out Friday. It's Freak Out Friday. Okay, is anybody out there? Say something in the comments. Give me a, hey there, Liz Dawn. It's Megan. Oh, Megan. Hi, Megan. We were going to do something and, and, and we didn't follow through. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Okay, anybody else out there besides Megan? I hope you are doing well in lovely Texas. I think you're in Houston, someplace in Texas. And Janet, all the way from the UK. Am I, am I talking loudly enough so you can hear me? All the way in the UK. <laughs> all right, sorry guys. I'm a little punchy today. Janice Peterson is here. Hi, Janice Peterson. It's so good to see you. And Janice, I don't know where you live, but I know where Janet and Megan live. Okay, so if you're joining, please give me a hey there. Hi, how you doing? What's going on? Tell me what you're doing today on Friday. Are you working? What are you going to do this weekend? Are you not working? Are you going to have some fun? New Jersey here, New Jersey, okay. Oh, and Barbie doll is here. Hi, Barbie. Oh, and everybody's here, Rachel. Rachel Marie from Oregon. Oh, it's gorgeous there. And someone said, named Facebook users here. Yay, Facebook user. <laughs> it doesn't show everybody's names, but it shows most people's names. Chilly day by the fire. Yes, and by the lake. How gorgeous. Rachel Elizabeth, you're making jewelry and getting the yard done before the snow starts flying. Oh, my goddess. I'm not quite sure I remember what a snowfall looks like or feels like. I'm going to have to go up north this year. Oh, you're in Upper Michigan on Lake Superior. Great. Creating my manifestation mastermind this weekend. Ooh, Rachel Marie, that sounds fabulous. We have two Rachels here. It's one of my favorite names. And Julieta. Oh, you're from Argentina. You're okay. All right. Well, I'm going to talk about a couple things today. The book of the month. For those of you who don't know this, we have a Celebrate Your Life book of the month. You're living at work. You're living at work, but I'll try to listen. Okay. Oh, in another 12 hours today, you are living, you really are living at work. I wonder if that's that says Facebook user, but that might be Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl's been working a lot lately. Working oh, CV19 mask fitting today. So looking for fun this weekend. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, it's Michelle! Michelle! How come I don't see your name pop up? Michelle Shell. It's our Michelle. Hi, honey. <laughs> and Ginger. Ginger. Okay, so here's what we're talking about. Voila. And this copy looks really, really, really beat up because I've had it a long time. So this book, The Celestine Prophecy. Hello from Norway. Hi. Mwah, how fabulous. So this book. The Celestine Prophecy came out in 1995, 93 or 90, no, 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 nope, 93 or 94, somewhere around 93, 94. And it was a New York Times, uh, New York Times bestseller list sensation. It was, I know, the book and the movie. So here's an interesting, it is Cheryl working her butt off. That's what I figured. I got a message from you. So here's the deal. 
I chose this book for a number of reasons. Number one, it was the first event I ever did with a spiritual author, and it was with the fabulous James Redfield. James Redfield. Number two, sorry, I've got something in my eye. Number two, it's our 25th anniversary, and since James Redfield was our first ever speaker to be that I've ever promoted, I thought this is a perfect way to honor him and the anniversary of Mishka Productions and celebrate your life events. Number three, if you have read it, you know how fabulous it is. If you haven't read it, it is really fabulous. And if you're rereading it, you remember how fabulous it is, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so for all those re reasons, we are doing the Celebrate Your Life as the book of the month. So our Celebrate Your Life Book of the Month Club is, it's obviously a club and it's free and it's fun and it's fabulous. And we read a book a month. And then at the end of the month, ta -da, ta -da, we have the author come in and answer questions on Facebook Live and we chit chat about the book. And it's just so much fun. I mean, what other book club out there can you actually see the author, maybe Oprah's, actually Oprah's book club does that, but what other book club can you ask questions of the author? Can you chit chat? Can we all read it together? And here we are in community reading this amazing book together. Now, for those of you who do not know what the book is about, and I think Tanya is gonna post on here that we've got a URL if you don't have the book, quickly pick it up because on the 20th of this month, James Redfield is going to come in with me and do a Facebook Live and we'll make sure and notify all of you. But pick the book up so you can quickly read it. Grab it on Amazon or on Bookshop or anything that's near you where you can get the book. And and it's, an, it's a quick read. Like, well, it's a quick read because it is so much fun. It is way fun. Like I read this book, I remember when, when somebody handed it to me and they said to me, you know, I want to do an event with this guy named James Redfield. And I said, who is that? Because nobody knew his book yet. And he was handing paperbacks out of the back of his car, <laughs> out of the trunk of his car. And so that's how I got my first copy. I do have the paperback here somewhere. And I read the book overnight because I couldn't put it down because it's just so much fun. It is a spiritual adventure story. And when I say it's a spiritual adventure story, it's a spiritual adventure story with teachings in it. But you're so intrigued with the book that you're, you're, you're learning and you're getting your spiritual insights, right? And you're also going through this whole fun adventure in search for this great manuscript. Okay, so some of you are sharing, yes, November 20th, James, it will be live for questions. Yes, he will, Rachel. And I can't find it, so the movie yesterday instead. But you know what, you gotta get your copy, Janet. You know why? Because the movie doesn't capture everything that the book does. So for those of you who don't know what the book is all about, the book is all about synchronicity and paying attention to the synchronicities in your life. And I find that most fascinating because every time I do pay attention to the synchronicities in my life, they keep expanding and it happens more and more and more and more. So I want to share, and he's got nine insights in the book. And I want to share one of the insights because I thought it was really beautiful. And then I have a really fun story about synchronicity. So, so through this teaching, he's, he's on this spiritual adventure and he's going through Peru and it's just, oh, you got to get the book. Okay. Anyway, so he talks about the seventh insight. And he says, the seventh insight occurs when we can see these answers as they arrive. Okay, you got that? It heightens everyday experience. We must assume every event has significance and contains a message that somehow pertains to our questions. This especially applies to what we used to call bad things. The seventh insight says that the challenge is to find the silver lining in every event, no matter how negative. You first thought that being captured had ruined everything, but now you can see that you were supposed to be here. This is where your answers were. And I'm not gonna say anything else about that. But I can tell you a really cool story. So I, my husband's family always comes in for Thanksgiving. And we all go to 
his sister's house. So he's got one sister that lives here and another sister and part of the other family. They don't live here. They live in Boston. So everybody comes to Arizona and it's been tradition in the family to, um, to go to the older sister's house for Thanksgiving. And we're all there as a family and it's so much fun and everything. Well, throughout the years, I've always wanted to be able to, to make the turkey or make my own turkey because I haven't made a turkey and I haven't done th a Thanksgiving meal in years. So this year, unfortunately, we're, we're all not going to be together, which is, which is, very, which is very sad. Um, but the people who live here in Arizona will be able to be together. So I said, please, please, can I try, you know, making the dinner this year? And they said, okay, Liz, we're going to give you a chance, right? So then, this is so weird. This is like so weird. I love this. So I got the okay. Yes, I get to make the turkey and do the Thanksgiving meal. So then I get a, fr a phone call. I'm sorry, a text message from my friend Susan in California. She sends me a text message and she said, she says, Liz, do you happen to need a 12 pound turkey for Thanksgiving this year? I ordered a turkey from Sprouts and I ordered it to be picked up at the Scottsdale store by mistake. <laughs> well, not only is it the exact size that I need, but of course I would get a turkey with no antibiotics, with no hormones in it. And so that's where you would order your turkey from is Sprouts or Whole Foods. And I said, well, yes, I could use the turkey. So I am being gifted, a, even though I offered to pay for it. Thank you so much, Susan and Nicole. Thank you, thank you, Mwah, my beautiful friends. But what kind of wild things, totally unexpected. And then after that synchronicity happens, it opens another door for something else. How many of you have had that, let that, seen that happen and then allowed the energy to flow with it and seeing things open up. Yeah, I know. Awesome. Crazy. <laughs> and the book is on audible with Lou Diamond Phillips reading it. It's beautiful. I've heard it. It's just beautiful. All right. So I'm going to move on to something else. Just make sure that you mark down November 20th at 1 p.m. Mountain Time, which is 12 p.m. Pacific Time, 3 p.m. Eastern. We're going to have James Redfield in and in the house, and we're going to have a conversation. I know. I really believe in synchronicity. Oh, I know, Barbara, you do all the time. I love that. More and more every day, Lori. That is so great. And when you start paying attention to those synchronistic moments, just watch what happens as the doors open and more energy flows in for all of these synchronicities to start happening in your life. Yes! Just remember the turkey story. <laughs> okay, so I've been talking a lot lately about attracting the love you want and deserve. Now, for those of you who are, who are married, Ginger, and anybody else that's married here, will probably not resonate with this conversation, although you might, because you may have had relationships in the past that just weren't a fit for you. And whatever journey you took to get either get into a relationship that's a fit for you or you haven't yet. And that's what I'm going to be talking about. And this has really, really been up for me lately. And especially as we walk into the holidays, because I remember when I was single, that was a tough time for me. And for those of you who don't know, um, at least three husbands were not a fit. I didn't know you were married three times, Ginger. <laughs> And I'm not laughing because you're in good company. My mother was married three times. So, so what I've noticed is that in my own personal struggle that I had in finding and creating, I should say, in because I do want I do need to take responsibility, of course, for that, in me creating a relationship that was healthy. Um, what I discovered was that there really are some, that, that people who do have challenges with this, such as myself, such as I did, um, there really is like a way out of that dysfunctional dead end relationship cycle. 
And I remember hitting the ground. I was about 46 years old and I really had bottomed out. And I thought, I have got to stop this. I have absolute, oh, thank you, loving my energy. Thank you. <laughs> and so I went and made it my mission to figure out what does it really take? And especially a little bit later in life, because most of my friends were getting married in their 20s and they're having kids and all that great stuff. And that was never my calling. But what I did notice is that the, that when I was in relationships, they weren't very healthy. They weren't very um, nurturing or supporting, supportive to my soul. And so I had to kind of undo a lot of that old dysfunctional drama and figure out what does it really take to be in a healthy, monogamous, loving, committed relationship with someone who is a match for me, with someone that meets me. And I'm glad to say I figured it out. Um, it took me about 10 months, but I did everything that I have been taught. I created some of my own processes and I put myself on what I called as the Liz dating game plan. And it entailed a lot of personal development work. It entailed a lot of self-reflection. It entailed a ton of exercises. And I did everything I knew to do in order to, because I because here, here, here was my feeling, is that there's millions of people on the planet. They're all, many of them are partnered in healthy relationships and they have figured it out. So what makes me so different and why can't I figure this out and undo any of the issues that I have that are holding me back from doing that? So that's what I'm going to be teaching. And I've been teaching like little mini classes all along. And the feedback that I've been getting is I need to know more. I want to understand more. And I want to learn the whole process. So I'm jumping off the cliff and I'm teaching a four-week coaching program. And during this four-week coaching program, and I'm specifically doing it over like very, very, very close to the holidays, because I feel like this is a challenging time. So the class is starting October 21st. No, 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 November 21st. <laughs> so next Saturday, the class starts. And I've made it super, super reasonable. And um, I think Tanya's here. If you just go to our website at celebrateyourlife.com, you can learn more about it. Hi, Cynthia. <laughs> so the class, and it's four weeks, it's going to be extremely supportive. I'm going to guide you through everything. We're going to figure out if this is your issue that you keep getting into the same kind of relationship over and over and over again. We're going to bust through that and figure out why you're doing that. And most importantly, bring that to your consciously conscious awareness. So you're not doing it again. So you have the consciousness to stop that pattern because this is everything that I did. And for those of you who don't know, I'm married to an amazing man named Jeff, Dr. Jeff. <laughs> and he's a holistic practitioner, chiropractor, acupuncture, nutritionist. What an amazing, perfect fit. We met on match.com and it was quite a journey to get to that place because I'll be honest with you, and he knows this, when I first met him, I was not drawn to him the way I'm normally drawn to, the way I had been drawn to partners in the past. So I um, I had to learn, relearn how to do things and do things differently. And so the way I fell in love with Jeff was was almost like, and I, I use this, this term a lot, like sitting on a porch in a rocking chair, overlooking the most beautiful meadow. It was gentle. It was easy. It did not have the trauma drama that I'd experienced in the past. And that's the way we're, we're taught that love is supposed to be and falling in love is supposed to be this big zaza zoo, explosive, like Wah! all that kind of stuff. Well, all of those relationships fell apart. All of those relationships were based on and I don't want to go too much into it. I don't have a lot of time to go into it because it's a little complicated, but I'm going to be teaching this during those four weeks that we're going to be together. And we're specifically taking four weeks together so we can bust through all this, this, this stuff that's holding you back, conquer it, and then give you a game plan to go out there to start meeting people that are a match for you that fit with you instead of you trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. 
we're going to be bringing, calling in those partners that work for you. Because I can't tell you how many times I've been in relationships with people that were just not a fit. And I kept trying to make it work and trying to make it work and, and thinking that, oh no, but this is my soulmate. This is the person. Well, it turned out that they were more like a cellmate more than a soulmate. And that big like, what Zazazu feeling is just old pattern behavioral familiarity. It's just old familiarness, if that makes any sense, that we unconsciously draw those people to us. And I'll give you a little bit of a teaser here of what we're going to be talking about. We are unconsciously drawing people to us that have similar patterns and similar negative traits of the people who were our caretakers in our life, mom, dad, aunt, uncle. So it's, it's important that we bring that to our conscious awareness so we can shift it. So we can actually shift it. And so that's what we're going to be doing. If any of this resonates for you, check that out. Check out the program. It's really, really amazing how um, in, in 10 months, <laughs> and you don't have to take 10 months because you can learn from me. <laughs> you can learn how to stop the old patterns. You can learn how to go out there and find your soulmate. You can learn how to, or, or your life partner. Because I think, I believe we have many soulmates um, and they all don't come in lover forms but you can bust through it and get the tools you need to move forward and to do it time to do this. So we're going to start on November 21st. And again, if you're interested in joining me, go check out the website. It's celebrateyourlife.com forward slash coaching program. So I, I, I just feel like, you know, this is something that, you don't have to suffer anymore. You don't have to run to your friends constantly and say, oh my God, what's, what's this person doing? Are they thinking about me? Are they gonna call? Are they not gonna call? We're gonna bust through all of the trauma drama that you've been through in the past and really get you into a healthy, clear place. And we're gonna create a game plan for you to go out there and let the universe know that you're serious because law of attraction is wonderful and we'll do a lot of law of attraction stuff, but law of action. So you can't say to the universe, oh, I wish, I wish, I want, I want, I want, right? Without taking some action on that. And so we're gonna create, a, I'm, I'm all about results. If you don't know me, I'm an extremely result-oriented person, <laughs> an extremely task-oriented person. Like when I do something, I need to see results. So this is exactly what you are going to extract from the class. And so four weeks, we're going to be together in a private Facebook group together. I'm going to be doing classes on Zoom so we can talk back and forth to each other. I'll be doing some of the classes on Facebook Live in the private group. You'll have a downloadable workbook. So you'll get to there's tons of exercises that are in there. I'm so proud of the workbook. I have to say, I've written it and it's just amazing with all these downloadable PDF worksheets and workbook. It's You're just gonna love it. So I hope that you'll come join us. If anybody has any questions about it, go ahead and feel free to ask me now. Or if you think of something later, go ahead and just um, send me a message or something. But it does start on November 21st. So that's next Saturday, and we have made it super affordable. And if any of you need payment plans, just reach out to myself or to Tanya, somebody in my office, and we'll get you a payment plan set up as well. But we've made it really, really affordable for everybody to join. Um, I know that I struggled with this for years and years and years and years. And had I known this information back then, had I known it back then, I would have saved myself years years of struggling with this, of, of, of looking for a partner that was a match for me. And how did I know that the partner was a match for me? So we're going to be going through all of those exercises in the class as well. And then giving you a solid, solid game plan. So you're walking into 2021 with clarity, with confidence, 
and being able to really take charge of your own love life. That's what we're going to do. All right. And if you know anybody that's single, if you have friends or family or people that are struggling with this, show them this video. Make sure that they're really interested because I do want people that are committed in this arena. I do want people that understand what we're going to be doing in this class, in this coaching program. And then if they are interested, go ahead and send them over to the coaching program and see if it resonates for them, if, if that's a fit for you. Okay, everybody. All right. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, hold on a second. But it's post so I am free. Synchronicity. Oh, Janet, I love it. I love it. See? Synchronicity. I told you, pay attention to synchronicity. That was it, Janet. <laughs> All right. So come and join us. Oh, look at that. Dawn Wonders here. I'm sorry. I just had to pop up and I saw Dawn Wonder and I had to say something. <laughs> Dawn, I haven't seen you in such a long time. We have to get back to doing live events so I can see all of your beautiful, beautiful fa faces. Oh, Cynthia, you are going to join us. Great. You just finished your registration for the class. That is fabulous. I'm really, really glad you're going to be joining us. You're going to love the class. We're going to have such a great time. Dawn, if you're just popping in, go ahead and rewind some of this because I'm talking all about this new class that yours truly is going to be teaching. All about finding a partner that is a good match for you. That's a fit for you. And it's going to be a four-week intensive coaching program. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. So great to see all of you here. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you soon. Okay. Mwah!